Have you ever thought about how the world will look a few years from now? Back when the Jetsons were a thing, it was pretty naive of us to think that we'll all have flying cars in the 21st century. But so far, all we've got is sprayable cheese. In this video, we'll discuss a few things this futurist revealed about the world in 20 years and what crazy new techs waiting for us. First up, let's look at the wonder that is artificial intelligence. So we all agree agree that artificial intelligence is definitely the future. It's everywhere we look, from our phones to computer systems, even our vacuums are intelligent enough to know where to clean now. Now as AI takes over the world, there are a lot of things that we need to consider before it completely replaces human labor. Sure, cashierless stores sound nice, but what if you run out of change one day and the store completely shuts you out? That doesn't sound like an ideal situation to be in. But then again, AI's been around us for a few years now. Not only has it given us Netflix recommendations, but it's also saved us from getting lost, thanks to Google Maps. So when you really think about it, it's good that we've got Siri scheduling our appointments for us, when we're way too occupied to handle stuff sometimes. It's here to make our life easier. After all, futurist Richard Watson has made many predictions over the years, and according to him, he's not afraid of the classic science fiction trope either. We know Ultron might have blown up Sokovia to bits, but to be honest, we don't think Siri or Bixby are full of vengeance like that. If you've read Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, there's an incredibly smart AI that ultimately becomes depressed because of its intelligence. So there's a good chance that an AI takeover is not on the cards for us. But who knows? Computers can malfunction anytime. Up next, we've got a cell self-diagnosing toilet. Okay, we know this sounds strange, but hear us out. We've got a lot of squeamish people around us. Some people are afraid of needles, while others dread making trips to the hospital. At any point in time, a person can have three existing medical conditions if they get proper checkups timely. But because of certain things like expensive healthcare and ridiculous insurance plans, we often end up neglecting our health a lot. But what if we told you we've got a solution to all your poop problems. Well, not we, uh, but more like self-diagnosing toilets that might just save you from spending a couple of thousand bucks at the hospital. The idea behind these toilets is that they'll be designed in such a way that'll allow them to run tests for diseases based on what you excrete. Be it your pee or the chipotle you had last night, this toilet will tell you whether you need medical attention or just need to cut down on ordering in. There are plenty of diseases that we can pick up on stool analysis, like irritable bowel syndrome, gastrointestinal infections, and even diseases that affect absorption in your gut. All these conditions require basic treatment, and when caught early, management is so much easier. Having a self-diagnosing toilet would be like having a little pathology lab in your bathroom. Easy, quick, and reliable. And we're pretty excited to see how they turn out to be in the future. Coming up robots are pretty much the next big thing. Now we know dolls are already a thing. And while we're still not sure why we even need such a thing, it is what it is. But apparently having with a lifelike doll is a hot fantasy that many people dream of. And if that's the case, then good news for them. The future might have robots. Professor Watson has always laid down realistic and achievable goals for the future. And if he says that robots would very much be a thing soon, then we guess we'll believe him. The thing is, currently these dolls are just human enough to be real, but since they're still pretty much void of life, it's like having a fancy Annabelle, only Year. Okay, maybe that's not the comparison we were going for, but it's the only creepy doll we know. If we consider how fast technology is evolving lately, then 20 years is way more than enough for robotics technology to reach new heights. Sure, they might not be able to do many things that humans do, but as far as stimulation is concerned, that's very much a possibility for these bots. Now, the entire concept of robots might make things complicated. People will obviously have moral concerns, and we gotta ask too, would it be infidelity if a person with a partner goes for a 
sex robot? Can we put a famous face on the bots? Should we expect some reproductive reflexes from these androids? What's more, human-machine interfacing is quite a possibility too. Smartphones are cool. We love them. But is having a touchscreen really the extent of how futuristic mobile phones can be? Apple, Samsung, and even Pixel phones have been competing to change the face of the mobile generation. But aside from the recent flip phones and folds, there's no innovation whatsoever. Watson, however, doesn't think that way. In this quest to predict our world's future 20 years from now, he also drew attention to the future of smartphones. And what he said might just blow your mind. So, like medicine has created little batteries for our hearts as pacemakers to make sure an abnormal heart eventually finds its rhythm, it's a possibility that decades from now, humans might just start getting implants to interact with computers. Hold up, what? Implants? We thought those were just limited to the Kardashians. But it's true, guys. Considering the fact that our brain is basically an electrical circuit, it would make sense for those implants to work and internal mobile devices. This basically means that if we're thinking about calling our crush, the futuristic phone might even call them up. Pretty risky, right? But Professor Watson says it might become the need of the hour soon. In fact, such technology already exists. To help disabled people to mobilize, engineers have designed brain-controlled wheelchairs that don't require you to push any buttons. So yeah, pretty sweet if we do say so ourselves. Moving on to other news that might interest you. First off, AI might be the future, but at what cost? While some companies claim to be AI first, we also need to understand what goes on behind the scenes. Sometimes that AI chatbot you are so impressed with turns out to be an underpaid laborer, being exploited for their skills while pretending to be this slick AI system that's supposed to multitask. In fact, that's how companies end up lying to you in the name of revolutionizing the future and end up being the flag bearers of AI. In order for a machine to learn, you need to feed it information, and all of that comes from workers who are actually the people aiding the popularity of AI. It's not magic that makes AI intelligent. It's the people who provide enormous amounts of data that it can learn. But unfortunately, the cost of it all is labor exploitation, something many companies are guilty of. Following up, it looks like machine learning might conquer hard science in the future. While we're no experts in particle physics, we know it's pretty hard. But thanks to machine learning, now physicists can get to the bottom of their lengthy problems. And all it would take is the simple push of a button. So far, machine learning has learned behaviors and incorporated them into algorithms we use on different apps. It's no coincidence Spotify is recommending you study playlist during finals week. The numbers might have figured out you need help in math. And now, scientists are using these same codes to push the boundaries of machine techniques and make their jobs easier. Sure, this might sound like a mashup between physics and computer science, but hey, as long as it gets the job done. Lastly, there's a humanoid robot at the Museum of Future, and it's as creepy as it sounds. Imagine you're on the museum date of your dreams, walking towards different exhibits, admiring them, and the art beside you. But then comes a robot who speaks not one, not two, but several languages that ends up telling you all about the artifact before you. Amica, the humanoid robot in the Museum of Future in Dubai, is a part of the staff. And even though it can't currently walk, it's actually equipped to guide tourists by giving them directions. In an Instagram post of the museum, the robot was seen conversing with an Arab woman in her language, and the comments were flooded with praise. While some thought that the future of AI looked promising, others were incredibly creeped out. And not gonna lie, it gave us whiplash too. And that's a wrap for this video, guys. What do you think about futurist predictions? What's something you'd like to see 20 years from now? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos like this. Until next time, see you soon.